It's a presentation for, for a proposal to take this initiative. We, we are all here because we think we are, we know something that we can contribute with it to the development of our home country. Now, this is an idea to take this from classrooms like this into something that we can do in the field, yeah? A proposal for taking this from technical papers and uh, um, talking within a, an um, a very comfort enclosure like this one into the fields where we have to do something for our people. I think we all share this uh, understanding that we, our country is for, is for it. Uh, there is a desperate need for our effort to help our country. And we need to do something. And it takes high level of responsibility to do that. Yeah. So this is a proposal of how we make use of our gathering, our knowledge, to, to do something yeah, practical. So we're proposing a framework to take this forward. Um, the current situation is like this. There is a huge need for Sudanese in exile who know something, who believes they know something, even those within the country, to do something. Uh, uh, people are scattered worldwide. We need to do something to bring them together. We, we are only few. We are only a portion of diasporas in exile. Yeah? Do you agree with me? There are a lot more who probably don't know about this, and it's still to be reached and invited, yeah? Um, the current situation, if you take Sudan as an example, is not very good, is not promising. Um, there is a desperate need for improving public services, health services, there is poverty, there are people who can't find clean water to drink. We all understand that, yeah? Um, it takes us, it takes a high level of responsibility to respond to this. So what we propose is uh, a, a framework. This is, uh, this is how the framework looks like. It looks very complicated. Maybe people look at it and say this is, they might not be able to understand it. But I will take it bit by bit to explain what it is. Okay, so the idea of the framework is we should have a mission and vision yeah, for what we propose as a body. Yeah. <coughs> we start by setting a strategic, a strategic objectives, and then we try to cascade that down to uh, projects, plans, and then we need to uh, set roles and responsibilities. And then from there, we obviously, everybody needs to be accountable for what they took responsibility for. And this is, I think, everybody understand about uh, modern management techniques. Yeah? OK. So this is a framework. It starts at the top with uh, vision and mission. And then on the right hand side, this is the cascade, cascade of, of the objective. From it works top down. And over here in the middle, yeah, all this section in the middle, this is the implementation of these objectives on the left hand side. You you cascade the the, the uh, objective top down, and then when you come to implement, you pl implement bottom up. And this is how it works, yeah? On, the, on this side here, it's just here to say, for each one of the objectives, we need to set some people or communities or committees to be responsible for that stage, yeah? That's what you see here. 
And over here, this is what we propose as performance measurement for each one of the stages. Okay, so let us move forward. Okay, so this is an effort of just two people, okay, a proposal, yeah? But everything you see here is debatable and, um, and can be changed. If somebody now told me, change that word from this to this, I'm very happy to do that. So this is just to show you the mold, yeah? But the, um, everything, if, if people like the idea, if we got a momentum for it, yeah, we're all gonna sit together and then look into the mission, what the mission should be, what the vision should be, yeah? So th this is just a, an example, yeah? So um, we start with mission and vision at the top. Our mission, at the moment, this is what we propose for a mission. Support the development of home country by providing expert advice, technical knowledge to solving problems and uh, exploring, uh, exploiting potentials and resources of the country. It's not just problems we, we need to solve, yeah, but our country got resources. We are not exploiting them. We've got vast amount of water and fertile lands. We know that. We are not using it. We are not using it wisely. Okay? So this is one of the uh, things that we, we think about. Our vision is to support the home country growth and development. I don't think any uh, uh, body will differ about this. It. This is a general thing. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. So moving forward, I'm just watching the time to make sure I finish on time. Uh, so this is how the framework starts. The top objective, I can read it from here, is uh, we start with level one objective. And this is what we propose as level one objective. Utilize and maximize the knowledge and exploit uh, uh, sorry, exhibitai, uh, I can't read it. Well, uh, I can read from the screen. Yeah. Yeah? I can read from the screen there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's just uh, because he may come move forward. Yeah, OK. So, so, so expert is uh, utilize and maximize the knowledge and uh, experts of diaspora in the development of the home content. And what you see below that is just breakdown of how we do that, yeah? Identify areas uh, for need of support, for example. Uh, prioritize the requirement. We know some sectors need desperate uh, help than others. Health service, maybe come ferries, and then after that, yeah? So we need to prioritize. Um, Development of uh, details plans of how we do this. Define and plan projects, okay? And then level two, from there, we go to where we can think about implementing projects and disseminate knowledge. Um, again, examples of that is to plan a project, implement a project, provide advice, the project we're thinking about is not just about, say, for example, uh, building um, a, a hospital, for example. It, a project could be uh, evaluating the uh, public, sector, public sector performance. Yeah? So that's uh, an example of a project. Yeah? It could be about est establishing five minutes, OK? Establishing um, what they call it, uh, I know the United Nations have this pattern of uh, um, farms, good example of a, a farm, an efficient running farm that could be used as an example. Okay, uh, then we move to the second level of objective where you, we utilize our knowledge in that field. People, uh, doctors ex use their knowledge as doctors in treating people, uh, uh, program management people, people who are, are specialized in uh, project management use their knowledge, technical knowledge. So this is about that 
stage. The last stage is, is to provide resources. We're talking here about going into the field, doing something that takes, it takes resources to, uh, to have some resources to be able to do that, okay? So level four is about providing all these uh, resources and arranging them, okay? Moving forward, this is the middle part of the framework, which is about what we know, what, what could be done at each stage and uh, moving up. So here, if you see here, in stage four, we're talking about uh, providing uh, resources. What we think about is, or, or we take as an example, is uh, members of scripture. We need resources, we need money, but, but it's not only about money. It's about technical expertise, about equipment, it's about all these kind of things. And I hope you see that. The writing is a bit small, yeah? And then when we come to the next stage up, here we're talking about, uh, yeah, this is the tools we use. Uh, we're talking about uh, expert knowledge, we're talking about project management, we're talking about uh, computers, we're talking about all different kind of uh, tools you use to implement a project, yeah? Uh, and then here, this is examples of projects and how we run project efficiently. Is to implement a project, uh, when you implement a project, you don't just go and leave it as what's happened, we, we know that's happened most of the time in Sudan. You have to monitor the performance and then uh, in, from monitoring the performance, identify any problems and then improve and then use this knowledge for the next project, yeah? Do case studies, yeah. Uh, use uh, the knowledge you know you know about uh, you gain from uh, uh, your exile or where you work about project. We know about things that happening in Sudan. You can't believe that they happen because you think pe the world has moved, moved away from. Uh, I mean. There are solutions to certain problems that we still suffer from them in, in our country. So we can just copy and paste. We don't need to do more than just copying and pasting. Yeah? So uh, this is about that stage. And here is examples of the sectors that we need to, to support. And if we succeeded in doing that, we then automatically we help our country. So we're talking about uh, energy sector, implementing energy projects. We know we've got abundance of solar energy, and we've got a very big bill of oil. So why not using solar energy? Why not using wind energy? We're talking about things like that. We're talking about implementing project in the food industry. We got, we're talking about uh, manufacturing. Dr. Ad yesterday spoke about manufacturing problems. Why we go, we can't go there and find the problems and propose solutions. So this is so the idea. Try to conclude. All right. Okay. So this is the objective of the framework, which we proposing to you to take our idea from um, within closed doors into something that we can. Uh, that can produce something into the field. Um, performance measurement is, uh, I think everybody understands what we mean by performance measurement. If at that stage, if we decided that uh, this community will be responsible for that stage, then we have to set up <coughs> targets for them and they have to meet these targets. And this is how we make sure that everybody is doing his job. Okay.